General Motors is bold. It has been one of the few car manufacturers that did not conform to the norms of the EV industry. It is no news that there is a race against time in the EV market, as every manufacturer wants to be at the top of the market and basically dominate it. You see, to do this, every manufacturer must find and do something special and magnificent that would attract customers. This is the reason General Motors chose not to go the lithium-ion battery route, but instead went the slightly expensive Ultium battery pack route. This is the battery in all their EVs, and they have stuck to it. Even while many have suggested that GM switch to lithium-ion batteries, they have refused to make this change. Well, until now. Now that GM has halted production of all its EV lineup, they have announced that the company will finally make the switch. Why are they doing this now? How will GM acquire this battery? Who will be producing it for them? Take a seat and pay attention as we dive into the topic and answer many more questions. So, for the first question, why the Ultium battery? GM began developing the Ultium EV architecture in 2018. The company aimed to create an ultra-flexible platform with a modular battery-powered system capable of powering almost any vehicle in the GM lineup. The aim behind this Ultium platform is that since it will be built on a flexible battery architecture, the platform will help GM speed up the production of its EVs across different and all vehicle types. Several of GM's electric vehicles are based on the Ultium platform. The GMC Hummer EV Pickup, GMC Hummer EV SUV, Chevy Blazer EV, Chevy Equinox EV, Cadillac Lyric, and Chevy Silverado EV all use the Ultium platform. In the move to bring this potentially revolutionary Ultium battery to life, GM and LG partnered in a joint venture called Ultium Cells LLC. They made plans to develop the Ultium battery cells. These plans included the opening of four battery factories across the United States. The first factory was built in Ohio, and they spent $2.3 billion to build a second plant near GM's Spring Hill assembly plant, where GM assembles the Cadillac Lyric EV. The partnership between these two giants saw the building of three of the four plants' erection before they disbanded the partnership. The end of this partnership meant that jobs were lost and dreams were crushed. But most importantly, the future of GM EVs was in shambles. A fun fact is that, although Ultium batteries belong to the lithium-ion family, they've got a very distinctive edge over their competition. A special chemical mix of nickel-manganese-cobalt-aluminium greatly helped GM slash cobalt's use by a remarkable 70% compared to their numerous competitors in the EV market. Tesla, like always, is right behind GM, as the Elon Musk EV company claims it has already started equipping half of its new EVs with 100% cobalt-free lithium iron phosphate (LFP) batteries. Cobalt-free batteries are an outstanding advancement for the future of EVs, since the demand for cobalt in EV batteries is rising, and a supply shortage is looming. For a second, it seemed like GM had already prepared for the worst possible scenario. Since the GM brand is used for Ultium batteries, what caused the change back? In October 2023, General Motors announced that the Chevy Bolt would use lithium-ion phosphate batteries instead of the Ultium battery the brand has been known for. This move would save the company $5 billion and allow GM to make affordable EVs that it can then maybe make some profits on. GM for a long time has opted for the Ultium platform in its EV production, but that was at the expense of making a profit. General Motors, during the announcement, revealed that the new lithium-powered EV would be released in 2025. They spoke too soon. Since their announcement, it has been a chain of closure. What gives? The company has announced that the Chevy Blazer has been paused and might never hit the production line. GM EV sales have all fallen through the cracks, and no one can certainly say if General Motors has any serious plans to revive its EV line. Is this the end of GM's EV line? You see, it is a gloomy sky over at General Motors. It'll take some serious work, but rest assured that we shall keep you updated on what's happening at General Motors and the EV world in general. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to not miss important updates. Speaking of updates, there's hope for GM, but why has it made a change and why now? Now. The question of why GM is now just deciding to switch is relevant, but let's go through some facts about GM and the EV market in general. This way, you would understand that General Motors had no choice but to make affordable electric cars using lithium-ion phosphate batteries. We think it was pretty obvious from the start, 
and are a bit surprised that it took until October of 2023 for General Motors to finally come to their senses and decide that that was their only choice. Here are some of the facts on why GM is making this decision now. After some research by GM, they realized that by using lithium phosphate batteries, they'd save $5 billion and be able to manufacture an affordable EV for the public. EVs are not profitable. With the new plan to use lithium-ion batteries and save $5 billion, it is not still a guarantee that GM will actually make some profit. Seriously, that is how bad the EV market is. It means that GM in the past has lost billions in their attempt to be innovative in the EV market, but maybe now, they won't be losing enormous amounts of money, and the loss will be manageable. GM is trying to stay afloat in the EV market. So now that GM has stopped production of EVs, what next? It is true that GM has halted production of all of its EVs, should there be a panic? No! There's hope for GM. The company will not be out of the EV market after all. GM unveiled plans for a new and improved Bolt, which they currently have in the works, and will be available for sale in 2025, if they don't disappoint. This next-generation Chevy Bolt EV will use the new Ultium platform and NAX fast charging. This new Chevy Bolt will be the first Ultium-based model to use lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries, which GM will source from an unnamed supplier in America. The company's current Ultium battery cells use a nickel-cobalt-manganese-aluminum chemistry. GM's CEO, Mary Barra, further explained this about their new Chevy Bolt. I know there's been some speculation in the market as to why we are developing a new Bolt EV. Our strategy is to build on the tremendous equity we have in the brand and to do it as efficiently as possible. In the process, we are saving billions in capital and engineering expense, delivering a significantly cost-improved battery pack using purchased LFP cells, we're getting to market at least two years faster, and our unit costs will be substantially lower. We've got an established brand, said GM CFO Paul Jacobson, referring to the Bolt. We've got a really good product that customers love. We can realize some of the efficiencies of the Ultium platform using LFP chemistry and technology and make it more profitable for us and significantly improve the business case for it. With how EV companies pursue cheap production of batteries in China, why is GM's battery supplier in the USA? General Motors made an investment in an undisclosed American company. GM's investment is a strategic investment that is guaranteed to help further reinforce its efforts in batteries and accelerate their work on affordable EV batteries. The U.S. Inflation Reduction Act is a major reason that drove General Motors to get battery supply within the United States. By doing that, their driver's buyers can get money off in terms of incentives of the actual price when buying an EV due to government incentives to manufacturers. These incentives are given by the government to aid in the move from gas cars to EV. The government aims to make EV prices affordable to the public. With these incentives GM uses batteries made in the United States, it's an incentive overload that might just mean GM finally starts making some well-deserved profits from its EV lineup. It is a wild world for EV manufacturers as the market is new and many do not know how to best navigate it. To make matters worse, the EV market is constantly changing and twisting. This further makes it harder for EV manufacturers to stay afloat. These struggles are what we can see when we look at GM. While many people believe that the EV manufacturers should just give up on EV and find another way to make vehicles that run on renewable energy, we would like to mention that as we have said, the EV market is being held up by a thread, and as long as this thread holds, any EV manufacturer that quits the game now might just find itself out of the EV car market wars. In short, do not write EVs out just yet. Thank you for watching. Kindly share your opinions in the comment and subscribe to our channel.